This is There Goes My Money. Welcome, everyone, to another There Goes My Money. This episode was recorded on December 20th, episode number 33, and five days before Christmas. And some of us still got stuff anyway. <laughs> it's good being an adult. Yeah. Sometimes. No, it's not. Not really. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> when you're not getting tax bills. <laughs> yep. Uh, Let's go straight into this. First item up is GDW02 Rebel. And I have no idea what that is. So That's IDW, pra- well, at least early didn't, Robots didn't, in Disguise. Did you make the show notes? Yeah. No, I added this one. Uh, oh. Hijacking the show. Yeah, I'm he a producer. Is, I can do he that. is a producer. Yeah. Oh, this is uh, G Creations. It's not even a. Uh, it's not Mastermind. So this is G Creations' uh, take on IDW Prowl, and he is one hundred nine ninety nine, and he's expected in January. So pretty quick. So what uh, size class would this be comparable to? Isn't it like a masterpiece alike? Mm-hmm. It, well, it says it says it's six inches tall. So really. Yeah, it, uh, yeah, it's six point three inches or sixteen so centimeters for you metric fans. Voyagerish. Uh, I would, I would think if they're smart, they're trying to fit it in the same size class as uh, Mastermind Creations IDW stuff. Since that would be I mean, nice. They're reformatted series. Oh. They're the only ones really doing IDW style characters. Otherwise, you're just kind of. I mean, where do you put this? Yeah, no. The, actually, if it's if it's around the size they're saying it's going to be, this is something I actually do want to pay attention to because, like, I kind of need a new Prowl because that 2008 Universe one just doesn't really hold up anymore. I also really like that pr- that uh, Prowl design. Yeah. yeah, Andrew Griffith did a great job with that. Yeah. One. Well, I also like that era of Prowl's character. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Where, you know, he was interesting if completely, uh, you know, off the wall. See, and this prowl does nothing for me. That's yeah, because that's you're because... a bad person. OK, we'll, we'll go with that. <laughs> <laughs> or I didn't read any of the comics. Yeah, yeah. that's what he yeah. said. Yeah, I, li- I like the look of it. But again, there's it's sort of like. There's no connection to this to this version of the character for me, although I although I think it looks really dynamic and uh you know neat i guess but it's just no real connection for me yeah, I mean, it's are... definitely okay. calling on one specific kind of it's it's appealing to one particular demographic and i mean i'm okay with that because it does set apart from what pretty much anybody else is going to do because even the mmc reformat is just basically focusing on the more than meets the eye slash lost yeah. light side of things yeah yeah <clears throat> yeah and if they are going to uh, go with that over <clears throat> like because their optimus and their megatron have both been masterpiece scale to idw if they're going to try to squeeze this in the reformatted might as well because it, 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 i guess for that size class it fits pretty well yeah, yeah. Uh, I I want to pay more attention to this as uh, I mean, it looks like it's close to release based on what's on the product page here. So January, yeah. We should know one way or the other pretty soon how it's gonna fit relatively. And uh, next up on the list, we have Fan Toys Fans Toys FT nineteen mm-hmm. Apache which is uh, their Springer. So this is one of our six Springers. This one was available for pre-order a long, long time ago uh, because I think they told us about it like a year and a half ago. Uh, But it's finally out. It's about normal for them. Yeah, it's finally out, and it's uh, a lot of places are already sold out of this figure. So as the fans' toy stuff goes, and it's 140 and it's a good springer Bless he's pretty chunky pretty chunky looking but as springer i think that's appropriate yeah uh, i do like the way over at uh chosen prime they've got him punching galvatron that's that's very 
I mean, if, if he pulls off a very nice dynamic action pose, and always punching Galvatron is always is always fun. But I, I have Alan, so I'm kind of done on the Springer. I really don't want another any more Springer. But he looks really good, and he like I said, he holds he holds a pose well. Okay, so I'm on the the link to the Chosen Prime's pictures, and he towers over Masterpiece Hot Rod. Oh yeah, I'm he, he not sure how I feel about that. Springer is supposed to be taller than Hot Rod. Should like, Hot Rod be, head be head with Rodimus Prime? Should Hot Rod be staring into his belly button? His navel. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if he'll. I wonder Probably if he would scan better. That, that's only a slight exaggeration. Actually, yeah. I'm kind of surprised since it's fan toys that they didn't put a picture out of Rodimus or Hot Rod doing something he shouldn't be doing. <laughs> well, uh, it, that yeah. is that is the masterpiece, Rod hot rod so they are doing their own hot rod hoodlum which is going to be bigger i don't think he's going to be as big as uh springer but hmm. yeah that you know that the next one. you know that might scale well with power of the primes rodimus but, you know <sighs> but your, your your aesthetic might be a little off but from a scale standpoint it might work out fine I think the relation to Hot Rod would be even farther off, though. Oh, God, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, Hot Rod might even come up to his crotch. Oh, well, now they've got him with the uh, uh, Masterpiece number nine, Rodimus. Yeah, I'm and, looking at that. Yeah, and that's not a bad group shot with the uh, Tesla and uh, Masterpiece Magnus. So oh, that yeah. kind of fits with with that Rodimus, providing that one's not you know being propped up by the other figures after the legs you know crack. Right, up. and that one that one's just pro that Rodimus is probably just a little bit too big. Uh, I'd say that's probably about right. I mean, I mean the the, mat- the matrix does. Give I mean, you we could spend part. the rest of the show digging up size charts. No, <laughs> no, we can. <laughs> No, no, we must. I mean, I think it looks great. It's just I have I have the only Springer I really wanted, and I'm not going to worry about it anymore. Yeah, I don't know the lighter the lightest green color. I don't. It looks a little off to me. I think, but yeah, I mean, if people have really been enjoying Alan, and you can get him for fairly cheap in some places right now. So, yeah, I love how deeply we can nitpick on Springers because there are so many of them. <laughs> There's 80 of them. Yes, we can nitpick you very have to, easily. You have to get down to those little details to scrutinize, even just to tell them apart. Yes. <laughs> but yeah, uh, thinking, uh, speaking of things we have a couple figures of, uh, fans to or fans toys. Ooh, fans hobby. MB-06 Power Baser. And this one is a Power Master Optimus Prime. Uh, has anyone in, does anyone here have any experience and with this figure? You recently had this. <laughs> yes, you recently had this in your hands, didn't you? Yes, I did. He was lovely. Uh and actually if you go to Captured Prey to pre-order him, your video is My there. video is actually on Captured Prey's page, which is really cool. That's rad. And thanks to Orson and thanks to Fans Hobby. But yeah, it's a really nice Power Master Prime. He's he's not perfect. I mean, I think there's things they could have done better, uh, but he's chunky and he's fun. So I think he's the best Power Master Optimus Prime just from what I remember from when I was a kid playing with the original Power Master Prime. Well, here's the question, Diecast. Now that you've had a chance to handle one and review it, are you pre-ordering one for yourself? Oh, yes. <laughs> okay, so, like, I see the price tag of $205. That's a little pricey, but you're, what you're saying is you think it's worth it personally. Yeah, I, I, he's big. Um, if he would have been a little bit more expensive, I probably would have hesitated a little bit more. Um, but I think that's probably right on for his size i have him pre-ordered and having not had any hands-on experience with him what i've seen from everyone who has i do think he's worth that so i'll be able to say more 
Well, he uh, he he was supposed to be in a couple places this week, but I don't think I I think with the holidays that might have gotten a little delayed. Um, but, but it should be it should be any time now. Yeah. So yeah. this seems like it's it's gonna be like it's this seems like it's gonna be like the big thing for Fan Tobby. This is either gonna go over really well and support their efforts to do bigger, more expensive figures going forward, or it's not going to, and they're gonna have to start dialing back down toward the smaller and then kind of keep things on that level. Which, Hopefully I it mean, does well for them. Yeah, and judging on their past releases, I mean they've they've only had a couple, but they seem to be generating some goodwill with their, with their fan base. Mm-hmm. Like ev- so far, everything they've done seems to make pretty much everybody happy. So, well, if I we really don't... hope that overlords next, I really hope that overlord is next. Oh, I'm sure it is because we, we saw the same prototypes at TFCon of overlord that we did of power baser here. Now, if you don't hear anything about overlord in about three months, then maybe you can start to wonder how well power baser did for them. But well, so they, they, um, they've been showing the like trailer add on for arch enemy and, um, gunslinger two or whatever they call the optimus version yep. of that. Uh, you know, that could end up being the next thing out to kind of give them some breathing room to get overlord done too. Sure. Oh, so I have a, I have a trailer to buy now, huh? Okay. <laughs> yes, yes, you do. Yep. But yeah, even even the high Q was really nice. He had a lot of uh, posability, the little power master dude, which uh, which impressed me. Um, and he didn't feel how, how big was the power master? He was a he was about a quarter bigger than the original power master or the original high q okay so still reasonably small then yeah um but the nice thing even with all the extra articulation it still felt solid like you know how some of the smaller figures when they have extra articulation yeah. they feel really fragile yeah. i didn't feel that with him so my biggest complaint i guess to get that out of the way that's the one thing that kind of bothered me is the uh in Power Master Prime mode, the two sides that the trailer uh, slides into, um, where right where the shoulder ratchet is, those were kind of loose, uh, or they didn't like tab in, so there was a little bit of play in them, hmm. uh, which I wish they would have s- tabbed into the side so they stayed tight with the with the chest and the head and everything. Now it was a test shot, right, or was it the official? I'm pretty sure it's a, the, I mean, the box was the yeah. same box you're going to get. It was packaged just like an official. It wasn't like, you know, wrapped in some brown box and just shipped off to me. Uh, the, the only thing that didn't look official were the instructions. And they actually right. said like, these aren't the official instructions. Okay. They were just like stapled together and stuff. But um, I'm pretty sure that's, that's pretty official. So there could be some tweaking, a little bit of tweaking yet, maybe, but they're they're pretty close. And if you've they've actually on their Twitter put out pictures of the evolution of the design of this thing, it's changed a lot. I mean for the better in like everything I can see. So Yeah. So I'm really, really looking forward to this coming out, and it's gonna be out very soon. Me too. And it looks great. I mean, that if you want something to just put on your shelf and look like an updated Power Master Prime, I mean, that's it. But not to not to go on about that figure next too much. Uh, next, we have something official, and it's Masterpiece Movie Series MPM Five Barricade, and he doesn't have Frenzy. Oh, so sad. So sad. Something about that face. It's like too like the paint on that face is like too bright for me. Yeah. Um it it almost looks like he's partially human or something. I don't I just get a weird vibe from that that face. Do you know what humans look like? <laughs> <laughs> and uh he's listed for 109.99 and he is Mas- he is uh yeah he is masterpiece uh pre-order now it doesn't say when he's releasing i don't think oh february so 
that like, price is kind of surprising. It should be about the same size as Bumblebee, which was only what, about eighty. Yeah, yeah, but I think at these, uh, because they're importing it, their their prices are a little bit higher. Because uh, I believe their price on Bumblebee was higher, but if you waited for Toys R Us to get their stock, that's when it that's when it was cheaper. Hmm. Yeah, that's true. We don't really have a Toys R Us page for it or anything like that. So, yeah, not that we found yet. Nope. But I think that he would be around the same price as Bumblebee once he hits Toys R Us. Yeah, I mean, uh, compared to, I mean, obviously, like Masterpiece Prime and well, Prime has his trouble, his problems. Bumblebee, for the most part, has been fairly well received. Um, yeah, I just don't. The, the face is way off, and it, sure, I'm. I, I'm sure there were silver parts of his face in the movie. I don't think they were quite this um, accentuated, if you will. Or as much as you can see anybody in the movie. Well, yes, exactly. (laughs) That's kind of the problem with, (laughs) unless it's Prime or Bumblebee, someone you're really familiar with, you kind of have to squint and go, is is that what they look like? Is that that right? (laughs) I wish you could see my screen. I'm on this one photo of it, and I don't know if it's mistransformed. Uh, but it looks like the the left arm is hanging down. Like there's a big gap between the arm and where I I hope it's mistransformed because that's just really bad. Yeah, his arms do hang down rather low. It's like his armpit is at uh the top of his stomach. Hmm. Yeah, that's not right. Yeah. Well, I was never excited for this in the first place. So, yeah, I, I and I've but, got Human Alliance. I think I'm good. <laughs> yeah. I think this is the first masterpiece I'm gonna skip in a long time. Like, if you don't count the the repaints, I've got a lot of the repaints, but I don't have like the black tracks that everyone got. Even though they say it's a great figure, I just don't need it it's in so my collection. Pretty. Yeah, you should probably get that. <laughs> so pretty. Yeah, get them on Taobao, but... I guess. I mean, yeah, I got Red Bumblebee, but that's just my cliff jumper fill in. Mm-hmm. So I guess I'll get the black tracks off of Taobao, and instead of wheels will come on four little cinder blocks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Seriously, the the black my, the black tracks is the best uh, use of that mold I've got. It it feels sturdier than the other two for some reason. I don't know why. It's hmm. the only one that I wasn't afraid of breaking when I transformed the legs. Yeah, so is anyone getting this? This <laughs> I don't think so. I mean the 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 car mode looks great, but yeah, for an official we're still talking about the we're still talking about barricade, right? Yeah, no. For an official product that no, I'm not digging it's an official masterpiece product. I'm not digging that uh, uh, robot mode at all. Yeah. And then. uh Next, we have Planet X PX15 Pluto, which is Fall of Cybertron Megatron. Megatron. He's pretty. He is pretty. I like their use of translucent purple Mm -hmm. on the Mm -hmm. figure. It looks really good. Wow. You know, I saw the gray test shots for this uh and i was like eh but now that i'm seeing the color photos i really like this yeah uh i i like this this uh it really it uh <sighs> yeah it, yeah. <laughs> yeah it really does Okay, words, <laughs> words escape me. Um, no, I mean, of course, when you know you see the gray test shot, it's not going to have the colored translucent parts, so a lot of the effect is going to be lost out of that. So, yeah, it, it makes a big impact when it's actually in its final color, and you can see what they're really going for with the clear parts on there. It all yeah. just really comes together and pops a lot more. Yeah, this is specifically the character design from after spoilers. He gets punched into the ground by Metroplex and rebuilt. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, and the use of reds in his tank mode is are nice, very nice. 
Um, now, as far as that translucent uh, plastic, Dawn at TFCon, you got the Ghost Star Screen. How how did they use? How did that all that plastic work for him on, or on that for you? I don't know because I sold him. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I can not remember that. Yeah, so I I had some buyer's remorse. I got, I got caught up in the exclusivity and how pretty he looked in the uh, yeah the chosen primes case, and I decided to sell him. So because I, I was sitting it. beside you at the third party panel while you're playing with him, and he looked nice. But... Yeah, he looked nice, but it's just I had a real bad case of buyer's remorse once I got home, and he sure. went up on eBay and was probably sold. <laughs> But I mean, this Megatron should not have like structural clear plastic, so it shouldn't be a major concern yeah. anyway. Right. And uh, he's one fourteen ninety nine, and he's looking at December two thousand seventeen. So. So any wait, any time now. This month. <laughs> That's pretty <laughs> quick. See, and we just saw a great prototype for him at uh, TFCon in Chicago. Yeah, yeah, but Planet sure. X doesn't really have the same DC. problem of like a big lead time from prototype to actual release. A lot of their stuff moves pretty fast. Yeah, seems like it. Yeah, and I have the I only have one figure of theirs. I have their uh, Grimlock that's done in the fire colors. Vulcan, yeah, yeah, Vulcan, and uh, he's pretty good. Uh, he's good quality, definitely. Yeah, I'd love to get that Grimlock. And I, I do like this Megatron too. Um, I don't know. This is once you get over the hundred dollar mark, that's when it starts to delineate a little bit for me for some of these. Like if this guy, if he were like ninety, ninety five, or eighty five somewhere around there, I'd be like, yeah, I'll probably just do it. But gotta be a little more picky when they're up here. Yeah, I, I can kind of see that. And like the Grimlock is a really nice representation of the design. The one thing everybody calls out about that, though, is there's that one transformation step that just makes you want to kind of die a little bit inside every time. And you have to, like, literally bend a panel to yep. get to go around one part. Uh-huh. Um, <laughs> it wouldn't stop me from eventually maybe getting the Planet X Dinobot lineup as a whole, but, man, <laughs> really give me some pause. I hear you. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, next up, we guess what? Guess what? It's another perfect effects combiner upgrade set. I know you <laughs> well, can't it believe it. Um, that, I, yeah, but... I, I, yeah, I don't get this. I don't PC... see the combiner in it. Oh, I don't uh... see what it's homaging or it anything about with... a combiner or it combines with it... a gorilla. <laughs> they combine with each other. It's it's basically yeah. just repaint of the uh, gorilla, gorilla Junior gorillas, yeah, uh, that were gray and or yellow and orange. Blue. Yeah, yellow, I mean technically it it is an upgrade set, so I just think maybe the combiner word uh, is misplaced in there, but it is technically an upgrade to Gorilla. I mean it's it's apparently in their perfect combiner series. Yeah. Which is because itself probably misplaced. What monkey doesn't need baby monkeys? <laughs> <laughs> or what gorilla doesn't need baby That's gorillas? why there's 7 billion people on the planet right now, I cast. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is true. Uh, yeah, on the, it's forty four ninety nine for the set. Uh, no, I, I'm, assume, I'm assuming you're only going to get this if you have their bigger gorilla, whatever his name is. Like the first release was, you know, color match to their original Guerrero, which was just Optimal Optimus. These are seemingly conceptually supposed to be matched to their Primal Prime, whose code name escapes me, but like they don't really match any of the colors. And I just, I really don't see it. I don't care in the first place. I want to be completely <laughs> clear on that point. I don't care about any of these. <laughs> um, but like, I really don't see. I don't. This is not really getting any traction here. Yeah, I, I think Don nodded off. No, sorry. <laughs> uh, possible news thing for you, Chris, in the chat. And then uh, next up, we have a perfect effects, perfect beast PE dash DX zero nine, 
Mega Dragon. And I I was honestly surprised when I saw this. I did not expect another uh, Dragon Megatron uh, anytime soon. Well, you got him. Uh, but yet, here he is. <laughs> and in perfect effects fashion, he's very expensive at $180. And his estimated arrival <laughs> date is May of 2018. <sighs> I think we know what Chris's I mean, reaction is. <laughs> I mean... It looks nice enough, sure. But still, $180 it has to be the wings. It's got to be the wings. And, and I don't you even can think tell Guerrero was that expensive. Mm, no, it's going to be super posable. So, yeah, it's... In it's... a lot of ways, I like this better than the the fans hobby uh, convention exclusive redeco that's trying to do kind of the same thing sort of yeah Since i like this is purpose designed for what it's being but yeah uh, not that price i like the fans hobby one uh he's again like like the power master optimus prime he's chunky and he looks beautiful not that this doesn't this looks pretty good um i always get more of a gun to me vibe with perfect effects huh and i'm not a gundam person but that's yeah, it kinda, shows yeah that kind of <laughs> what these kind of look like to me you know i appreciate that they actually went the full like the full extent here and recreated the original transmetal 2 megatron toys uh dragon dragster mode <laughs> i do like that yeah yeah, I, I, I would mean, not have expected that. I will. I will say this: Transmetal, this Transmetal Two Megatron, has never been one of my favorite designs. But I do like the way this looks. But again, it's the price that's really turning me off for something that it's not my favorite. But they've made me at least notice it more than I would have in the past. Now, if this is redone in Cryotech blue colors. That may get me to purchase one because I've always liked that color, that blue, and and the the translucent they used on the wings and stuff in the in the colder colors. Well, they that... did they did a primal prime recolor of Gurira, so right, I so... would not at all rule out seeing cryotech colors on this. Yeah, so that would definitely be, and I think they really got it, the Megatron face. They really nailed that. Uh, um, oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, so I mean, I mean, I, I think you know, it, it depends on how much you like Transmetal Two Megatron in your in your list of Megatrons you must have. I mean, I would, pro- I kind of prefer this to the Fans Hobby one only because I have Fei Long already in that mold, and I he's perfectly fine for me, and I do yeah. like what what this does, and especially like the head sculpt the Mega on the Mega is perfect. Almost. <clears throat> and I like that tank mode thing, kind of. I do like the colors and stuff, but for 180 I can't. Because yeah. <laughs> I'm thinking about keeping... I'm not sure I'm going to be keeping that, that fa- the uh, the fans hobby uh, Megatron. I'm not sure I'm keeping that or not. But I'm not... I'm, if I do, it's just, it's just like you said, because I've already got Fei Long. And I don't... It's not because I'm getting this in its place, because it's another 80 bucks higher. Well, there goes Matt just in time for what we got this week. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'll go for I'll go first. Maybe he'll come back. Um, I got thanks to Chris Ramhorn from uh, Hasbro Toy Shop. Yes, thank me. It is, I, and honestly, I wouldn't have gotten this if it wasn't for you. So I really appreciate it. <laughs> and then praise me. <laughs> I also got. From Hasbro Toy Shop, the Power Master, uh, Prime Master, Prime Masters, yeah, very nice. Uh, Sk- uh, Skullgrin was the only one I opened so far, so I he's well. The other ones will be exactly the same, but just look different. Yeah, I mean Skullgrin's probably the best out of the three, uh, so that's why he got opened first. And then I also got from Hasbro Toy Shop. I can't remember if I showed these off last week, so I apologize if I did. Uh, but I got the Legends 
You may not uh, have had them open at that point. Yeah, Power of the Primes guys. And I even opened uh I even opened Wind Charger, and he's a great car. <laughs> not in, not a great robot, the, in, but he's a great in car. In the overall hierarchy of Wind Chargers, that's uh easily the second best. Yeah. Yep. And I'm trying to think. Oh yeah. Okay, so Matt, we're actually like all done with your uh, what we got this week, so we've moved on to diecast. <laughs> awesome, good. <laughs> I got I got Grimlock, uh, who hasn't coming out of the box yet, and I also got Star. Hasn't come into focus yet either. Yeah, <laughs> Star Scream, and, and that needs to go um, back in the box. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I think Repro labels to help a lot. <laughs> so really, is uh, it going to help that jet mode? No, no. <laughs> no, you need a little pack of Dinobot Magic Transformation Powder for that thing. <laughs> Sprinkle it on. But yeah, that's 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 uh. Oh, I also got a shirt, and it has Skyfire on it. So nice, nice. Yeah, I was I was really happy. It's one of those ones, you know, how you see ads on Facebook, and they know like what kind of groups you're in, so they advertise stuff for you. Yes, how they stalk you. Yes. yes. <laughs> and this and manipulate was one of you the based things. on your activities. Yes, yes. I'm, I'm aware. Yeah, this was it's one the of the same thing I do. I'm just more up. subtle about it. Or, and I was or like, they... oh my God, they they know me. <laughs> they know exactly what I wanted on a shirt. Oh, so they know it. you all right. Trust me. <laughs> or they're like, or, or they're like eBay and they keep showing me my own auctions. It's like, yes. Really? I didn't know that because I just. <laughs> Listed that, so thank you for reminding me of my own options. <laughs> That's Appreciate right. That. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you guys finish up with what you got. I'm gonna step away, but okay. uh, you guys go ahead. Okay. Uh, how about Matt right now, since he's working <laughs> before my internet cuts out again? Right. Yeah. So I got Kilby's ex- extra MP12 anime Lambor color nice yeah and he was kind enough to pack a few things in the box with it he does that <laughs> so he got me the Trypticon uh crunch poster from uh hascon i believe it was oh cool um he sent me uh our our dearly departed friend jd church JD's Modoc coffee mug, the <laughs> mental organism designed only for coffee. <laughs> Wonderful. Oh, that's awesome. Civil went to the school of mask naming for that one. <laughs> and some strange concoction of sweet sauce. I, I haven't tried yet, but it says cheer wine on it, so it's amazing. I, I don't even have to taste it to know it's amazing. Wow. I wonder how that would taste on chicken. Do you feel like chicken tonight, Matt? I don't know. If it makes it taste like cheer wine, it'll be wonderful. (laughs) Okay, coming soon to in your kitchen, uh, (laughs) cheer wine chicken. (laughs) All right. Um, I got my Japanese six shot. And I I skipped the American version, so I have waited almost a year since everybody else got their six shot to get mine. Um, I really like it. The I I like the the sculpt on the Japanese head. How's that? Like the teal, like the more tealish blue color. Does that work better for you than the green on the? Much Hasbro? okay, much better. Yes. Uh, I does, got does Legends. It, does, does it what, Don? Does he come with Ultra Magnus killing action? Yes, he does. <laughs> He is a ninja consultant, after all. Yes, from Cybertron. So, yes, I got Legends, Trigger, Happy, and Misfire. Legends, Misfire is pretty cool, isn't he? Yeah, I really like it. Again, I, I skipped the Hasbro version. The Trigger, Happy, you know, I got the Hasbro version because we at, when he came out, we didn't know about Target Master. So I skipped Misfire and Slug Slinger. So this is, this is my first dealing with Misfire, and I really like him. Yeah. And I also got uh, Legends Haywire with Double Cross, <laughs> which I like. The well, you also you also got the uh, better painted White Leo too. Yes, I did. I actually really like the the paint on that the 
the eye patch is mm -hmm. a wonderful little touch. And I got correctly colored Legends class brawn, the Japanese version. You, you got his... um, oxidized guacamole brawn. <laughs> yes, that is yes. what that looks like. Yes, all, all, uh, olive drab. <laughs> it, it's not quite as bad as it shows up because the color's not transferring correctly. But I, I much prefer it to the super dark green Hasbro. And I got finally something Power of the Prime showed up in my area. So I got Slash. Nice. nice. And she is really wonderful. Mm -hmm. Only I Flash? did manage to get her. Well, no, I got I got a couple others, too. But I oh, okay. did manage to to get her to balance in a almost pouncing motion. Mm -hmm. So and I got Wind Charger, who I like better than most people appear to I just yeah. he's see super g1 and that appeals to me yeah and, seeing him in person helped me a lot too yes and best in show beachcomber <laughs> yep. yeah i have been waiting for a legends class beachcomber for years <laughs> you if you go one. back and look i'm sure yes if you go back and listen to some of our old shows our predictions i'm sure it's on there at least in at least two of my lists i've been calling for a legends class beachcomber and it was worth the wait. Yeah, it's not it really predictions really nice as figure. much as wish list. But what's great oh, except is that... for that one year where I got everything right. Yeah. That was that's predictions. A, that's a really that's the perfect shade of blue. Because blue is a really odd color to get right for me on a character. Mm. To me, anyway. I will because agree with it, that. It, it's really easy to to use the wrong blue. But that that fits Beachcomber perfectly. I love it. Yeah. And I've been in a like model kit kick lately with and Mega Blocks and stuff like just building stuff. So I got some Super Mini Pla. I my my first dip into it, I got the Daijujin and the Dragon Caesar. Whoa. Daijujin is built. Daijujin is built. And combined, and he is wonderful. I went with the uh, ball jointed ankle configuration wow love it um where do you where, where does one procure one of these at big bad toy store earth has them yeah big bad toy store uh, i think you can get them from amazon maybe huh about yes, what uh, uh, I, would, I, would amazon. I would definitely shop because it's not in like pre-order status or anything anymore i would shop around for your best price uh about what kind of like price point are we talking about if you don't mind uh, we really? Yeah, we talked. We talked about this uh, the other day. Let's see. Uh, you weren't there. Uh, <laughs> yeah, sixty. Sure, rub it in. Okay, sixty for sixty. That and, looks good to me. And Dragon Caesar was forty-five. I oh, have not okay. put him together yet. Mm. Maybe next but, week. But yeah, maybe next. Maybe next week. But he, again, is Dragon Caesar, so he's far more complex than any of the other ones and larger. So Nice. And oh, yeah, I like that. Uh, judging by all the pictures I've seen, like I got, I have the legacy Megazord and Dragonzord, and Dragonzord is just too big compared to everything else. So his uh, Go Ryujin, Dragonzord in battle mode just looks way off. From the pictures I've seen so far, this scales way better with with the other swords combined, and that's important to me. I love how a year ago I only would have understood like a quarter of those words, but now I understand a good half to sixty percent of them. <laughs> Chris, no, Chris, and Don know what I'm talking about. Though. Oh yeah, yeah. And uh, that's it. That's all I got this week. Awesome, Don. What did you get? Okay, I got a couple things here. Uh, thanks to Reward Point. And I scored the three Prime Masters. I got those today for cool. my reward points. So I got those. And it's it's amazing the detail that they can do now on these Pretender shells. Because those are some of the smallest Autobot and Decepticon logos I've ever seen. Right. And they're they're pretty crisp. They're they're pretty well done. So that's no, Don, and, your vision's just bad. Oh, okay. Uh, and and like I said, it, I've never been a big Pretender fan, uh, but it's nice to see them getting Pretenders. It's all right, into no, the... no one has. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> it, it, it's it's just nice getting them into the line, but in an unobtrusive way. So I got those. Uh, went. 
thanks to Chosen Prime's uh, big sale, I got Iron Will. Because uh, I, I know I, I love, I've always liked Hardheads. He's my favorite, all about Headmaster. And uh, the folks that did Data Clerk, uh, which is the uh, the uh, uh, BB Seven, uh, yet yeah, BB Seven did the Data Clerk, which was a copy of uh, their Chrome Dome, which which was about half the price. But with the sale, the real Iron Wheel was only ten dollars higher than the BB Seven. Uh, KO version, so I went ahead and picked that up. I doubt we'll be seeing any more of these with for some reason. I just don't think we'll be seeing the rest of the line, but I, I do like Hardhead. Uh, and with it being on sale, I got Despotron. Ooh. I, I, yeah, it's just, I, I, I've always liked him, but like I said, I've, I've got a Polyon, but I kind of want something a little more to go with Prime. And I still plan on getting the Yzhang Megatron, but that's to go with their upscaled Prime that they made as right. a set. But for se- for seventy bucks and with some Dynamics, I've just about cleared him, so that was nice. That that's a great Megatron. I know Brian doesn't like it, but I still love it. I I would not get rid of him, even well, though I have other Megatrons. I he's... Well, between between him and the well, what was the other one uh, diecast? It was him and uh, the other the other other Megatron that came out. it was nice, but it had the Apollyon. The, uh, no, 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 the one. The the uh, counterpart to uh, that. Oh, DX nine. Yeah. 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 There's so I, so I so for the money I wanted to get that. Uh, off topic, kind of. I got missile tank Robo, also from Chosen Prime because I've always liked Ooh, Blaster. Very Blaster. Nice. Blaster. He's orange. That's yeah. that's totally acceptable to bring yeah. up. <laughs> yeah. It's uh, <laughs> the only thing about him is I do kind of wish he came with the second set of missiles that were shorter. So it would look like the missiles, like you know, became smaller when he was in robot mode instead of the same pair of missiles. But that that's kind of minor. I now would John, like to see it. I was gonna say, you have you opened him yet? Is he bigger than the other than the last wave? Because I heard they were either upscaling them or. Well, I haven't. I have actually only bought Tank Robo. I haven't opened up Leader One yet, but they but they're from the same series. And then I skipped to him. So I have I, I haven't really opened up anything more recent, so I don't know. Uh, but I, I might post some pictures once I do. Yeah, yeah, definitely post pictures of him like next to like Leader One or something. I'm kind of curious to see if they actually did upscale that. And I, I, I'm debating whether to keep these or not. But I picked up. Uh, I got I found these at Raw. Uh, Raw? No. I forgot. No, I didn't. TG Maxx, Marshalls. I don't, I don't remember where I got. Ollie's five below. But it's it's the it's the it's the Probably Megatron Ross. and yeah, it's the uh, Megatron and the uh, b- the the breakdown mold from Prime, and then I got the other Optimus and the Soundwave. I'm, but I'm debating on keeping those or not because I've already got those molds twice over. <laughs> and I also picked up Dino Thunder Red and. Zeo Ranger, the Gold Ranger, or Mustard Yellow, Butterscotch. Zeo Butterscotch. Zeo Butterscotch. (laughs) Because it's a sixth Ranger. That's not Tommy. So that's something special right there. Uh, And that's that's really about it. That's what I got. Uh, toy wise, the only thing I got this week was uh, a gift from Barricade sixty four off of my Amazon wish list, which is the uh, nice. Disney Afternoon Darkwing Duck figure. That's yeah, nice. it makes a really awesome. nice little. That's all you need. Yeah. yeah, it makes a nice little display piece for a shelf. The um, articulation's a little bit limited. I can't actually get the legs to move. I'm not sure if they're supposed to or if they're just glued on pieces. Um, there's no bicep swivel. The the gun falls out of the hand. The uh, shoulders are basically universal joints. The elbows hinge, the neck turns, and there is a waist joint that works. So you have some options in how to uh, have it standing there. The um, the hat kind of doesn't make any sense in real 
you know, space or time. And it's also like super rigid, which surprised me because the cape is all uh, flexible like this. I was expecting the hat to be the same way, but like the paintwork is really good on it. It's a really, really solid sculpt. It really captures a character like this as well as I could ask for. So, I mean, I'm really happy with this, uh, you know, really cool little last uh, Christmas present off of my Amazon wish list. I want to thank everybody who has uh, sent me stuff off of that. It's uh, really made the last few weeks all, all extra fun. So thanks, everybody. Well, now, if they review that as Negaduck, do you think you'll pick it up as Negaduck? Now that you've we've, got I mean, we've have, already seen have, that, haven't we? No, well, no. Not that, the regular Negaduck. The, regu- the regular Negaduck, not the clear, not the chased version of Negaduck. That, that's about double retail. Yeah, uh, there was two Negaducks in the cartoon. The first one that. was... Like black yeah, and so white. That, the, yeah, that, that's the one that's available now. Uh, they probably will do a regular colors one. I, I need point. regular reverse flash Negaduck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't, know if I, would, I've got... I don't know if I would end up going for that. Like, as it is, the only thing I can see myself really being drawn to would be like uh, Gizmo Duck. I, I require an entire Fearsome Five. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Well, I've got Blue, Chip, and Dale along with uh, Darkwing at my pile, my pile of loot at BBTS. I just got to ship them. So I'm, I, I will probably try to complete as many casts as I can other than DuckTales. Uh, Woo. You know, Woo. So <laughs> definitely. I mean, I like DuckTales. It's just, I just really like the the, the shows that don't have a lot of promotion behind it like tailspin and chippendale's rescue rangers all right well i'm gonna be real quick because i have i got two things today but much like diecast uh life happened so i didn't really have a lot of time to play with them but i did get uh mmc calidus so i do have my first uh representation of idw optimus prime and from looking at him he's great but i'll get to play with him a little bit more and stuff i would have loved the last like or lost light colors for him but this was on sale and I needed to tell my uh, girlfriend something to get me for Christmas. And that worked better than the, <laughs> than the other one. Well, so, well, Jason, let me ask you this real quick. Why did you pick that one over the XSS version of the same character? Cause he wanted a good toy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the SSX version, the robot mode looks almost perfectly like, uh, Rodimus's model in the, um, in the comic the mm-hmm. the vehicle mode does not the transformation is okay. not great like i didn't see any really good reviews on it um they mm-hmm. definitely sacrificed the robot mode or they sacrificed everything else to make the robot mode spot on from what i could tell okay so I, I just, basically I you curious. can look at those two you can look at those two figures like this the uh mmc one is a toy based on the Alex Milne interpretation of that Rodimus design. Right. Where the XS, the SXS one is the Nick Roche, Roche. design yep. from the first issue of Where the Meets the Eye. Which I love both, but I think Calidus ends up being the better toy. Okay. Yeah. Um, I, it's I, I, it's I a good some... way to balance that out if you do have to get both of them, because like they both can have their own independent purpose. They're not exactly being the same thing. Yeah. And then I also got, because I love Fans Hobby with all my heart, I have um, Arch, Arch, Arch Nemesis. And, God, these colors are so nice in person. It's ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> like the red on the windshields and stuff. Oh, I can't wait to mess with this guy a little bit. But So once I get Power Base or whenever that comes out, I will have every mold. I will have every mold a third-party company has put out. If you would ask me if that would happen, like, Six months ago, I was been like, hell no, I don't have that kind of money. <laughs> I found it somehow. Well, unless you want to go complete us on Impossible Toys. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> but <laughs> so, yeah, this that is... wouldn't be expensive at this point. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> so this is the second part of my again on sale. Um, so the second part of my of my Christmas present. And <laughs> she was like, Did, you don't want anything other than Transformers? I'm like, no, why would I want something other than Transformers? So that's right <laughs> <I'm just... laughs> What kind of question is that? Yeah, so so that's it. Uh, Diecast, it's to you if you have anything or ready to wrap up or whatever you want to do. That's it. Thanks, everyone, for watching this episode of There Goes My Money, and uh, we'll see you next time. tfradio.net slash Amazon. Support the show. Help us out. This has been There Goes My Money. 